For the second time in a year, researchers have linked diet soda consumption with metabolic syndrome, a condition that often paves the way for heart disease and diabetes. But as NJN News health and medical correspondent Sarah Lee Kessler reports, the reason for the diet soda connection is unclear. It's common knowledge that eating too many French fries and other fried foods and eating too much red meat packs on pounds. It also paves the way for metabolic syndrome, a collection of symptoms associated with heart disease and diabetes. They're heavy. They have an elevated blood pressure. Their triglycerides are high and another component of the cholesterol called the HDL is low. Their waist circumference is big. But now, researchers at the University of Minnesota have found that drinking diet soda is a risk factor for metabolic syndrome, too. Researchers have found that the risk of developing metabolic syndrome was 34% higher among people who drank just one can of diet soda per day compared with people who drank none. They're not sure why, but Dr. Joseph Giangola, the diabetes chief at Hackensack University Medical Center, has a theory. I think what people do is when they have something diet, they think they can have more of something else. A visit to the hospital's cafeteria was an eye-opener. This woman chose diet soda to complement her grilled cheese and chips. And lots of people were going for pizza to be washed down with no-calorie soda. But not this man. Um, I'm not really crazy about the chemicals that are being put in the sodas today. So I'm a little leery about drinking too much of it. Could the aspartame, the artificial sweetener in diet soda, be to blame? There's no good biological reason why having diet soda with aspartame should cause greater weight gain. It just doesn't make sense. Linda Gogates, a registered dietitian at the Diabetes Center at Hackensack, says... I have not read anything that would lead me to tell my patients not to have diet soda. The study also found that dairy products lower the risk of metabolic syndrome. The study confirms the risk from fried fatty foods and red meat. What's the take home message here? On the surface it looks pretty straightforward, don't drink diet soda. I wouldn't take that away at all. I would take away having a balanced diet, I would take away including dairy products, and I would not eat a lot of fried food. Even the study's authors say more research needs to be done on diet soda. Sarah Lee Kessler, NJN News, Hackensack.